I believe that while the principle of equality and uh, paying attention to all for all uh, is important, we do need to pay uh, special attention to those that are vulnerable and excluded. Uh, whether they've been excluded on the basis of race, uh, sex, uh, ethnicity, uh, location. Because those that have been historically excluded in different societies are starting from a different uh, starting point. Uh, they face much more uh, serious barriers uh, in being excluded. So therefore we can't treat uh, them as the same as those who have uh, enjoyed privileges and advantages. Uh, therefore, I think all public policies need, need to be affirmative. Uh, location matters. Those in rural areas are still excluded. And I, and I think Latin America is a, is a good example. Uh, and we see more recently, for example, in Brazil, ethnic groups, indigenous populations, those, for example, in the uh, Amazonia, are still very much excluded. You know, we see uh, uh, economic development, but rather than economic development uh, promoting inclusion and e equity, it's actually marginalizing those populations even more. So for me, the, the common groups would be those that are excluded on the basis of sex. Girls, women uh, are, are still excluded. It is racial and ethnic groups that are still excluded. Ethnic groups, and I think the question of location still matters. Those in cities do enjoy more benefits uh, than those th that are in rural areas. Uh, policy is practice and I think as uh, of it from a teacher's perspective no matter what policies are made at a national level as a person in the classroom you are always interpreting and remaking policy.